Alright. Uh, for this quadratic equation uh, topics, actually I already like, made few videos before and, and then I already explained many times in either my Facebook and my YouTube but still have a lot of students cannot understand this so I decided to make another video uh, about this question and obviously this is one of the questions given by my student and I copied it down Right, so let's have a look on this question. I hope after this video, you can fully understand about how to solve this kind of question. Actually, the concept itself is quite easy. Alright, so let's have a look on it. Okay. Okay, okay. So it's given that alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation and 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 equals 0 form the quadratic equation which have the new roof a uh, new root which is 1 over 2 alpha and 1 over 2 beta all right so same thing for this sort of question the first thing you do is always like uh find out what is the sum of root and what is the product of root okay let's say okay i do this one as 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 equals to 0 okay this is a this is b this is c so how do i know which one is a b and c based based on this general equation a x squared plus b x i mean plus b x plus c equals to zero so a is a number beside the x squared b is a number beside the x and c is just a number without the x all right so we know that sum of root basically is negative b over a all right so what is my b b is a a is 2, so it will be negative 8 over 2, which is 4. Right, of course, I, at the same time, I also know sum of root means what? Alpha plus beta, because alpha and beta are my root. Alright, so same thing, we know about product of root, it's just C over A. And my C over here is basically 5A is 2, so it will be 5 over 2. And product of root, so based on the words, you know, it's basically multiply. Because product actually means multiply. So alpha multiply beta, you get 5 over 2. Alright, you're going to use this information you find and form the new equation. So this one will be my new product of root and uh, this one will be my new root. And then I'm going to use the same idea, product of root and sum of root to find out the value. And then I'm going to use the information I have it here, sub, uh, substitute it into the uh, new equation I form. Alright, so let's have a look okay let's say let's say uh let me just change another color uh let maybe i change it into the purple okay i'm going to call this one as new root so we have two new root which is one over two alpha and one over two beta okay no matter how complicated the new root is given so what you need to do is always the same Alright, so what I will do is, I will do sum of root. Okay, based on the, the words, sum of root, basically you understand is, both root, you're going to sum them together. That means 1 over 2 alpha plus 1 over 2 beta. Because this is what's the meaning of S or R is sum of root. Just in case some students do not know, P or R is product of root. Alright, so P O R is product of root product mean multiply all right and basically root what is the meaning of root root just mean the answer of x all right just in case you still like so confused about what is root all right so okay let's us continue about this thing so that's mean if i want to plus them both of them must have the same must have the same uh denominator so what I will do it here is, since this is 2 alpha, I'm going to multiply beta here, multiply beta here. Same thing, I multiply alpha here, I multiply alpha here. The purpose of doing this is just because I want to make the denominator have the 2 alpha beta. So you can see this one have 2 alpha beta and this one have 2 alpha beta. And then this one will be beta plus alpha. And you sh shouldn't live like this because you... In order to form the new equation, you need to have the value for it. So this is the purpose we actually do the sum of root and product of root at the beginning. 
So alpha plus beta is equals to four. So this whole thing will equals to four. Alpha multiply beta equal to five over two. That means the whole thing alpha beta here will be five over two. So I just substitute the value into it. So it will be four over two, five over two. And then you simplify it basically you will get four over five. Alright, this one will be my new sum of root. The value of my new sum of uh, sum of root. Alright, so then I will do the same thing for product of root. Okay, product of root means these two new root is going to multiply each other. One over two beta. Alright, so if I multiply I will get one over four alpha beta. And I know my alpha beta is basically equals to 5 over 2 because I found it at the beginning. So I just simplify, simplify 2. And then this one I will get 1 over 10. Alright, if I get my new sum of root and new product of root. So uh, just, let me just mention it. This is the new sum of root and new product of root. Because I want to form the new equation. Which the equation is, is having the... Uh, the new root. Alright, so what I will do is over here is I I got all this value. What I will do is I substitute into the general equation of a uh, quadratic equation, which is x square minus sum of root x plus product of root equals to zero. Okay, this is one of the formula you have to memorize it in order to form the new equation in this topic, especially whenever you see alpha beta thing. All right, so x square, my sum of root is four over five. So over four over five, x. My product of root is just one over 10. And it goes to zero. Then then I will just, I will just uh, multiply 10 for them if I want my quadratic equation have no fraction. Or you can leave your answer like this, it, it should be fine. If you, if not, I will just multiply 10 for the whole equation. So when I say that, what do I trying to say is, uh, I multiply 10 here, I multiply 10 here, I multiply 10 here. So you can see I will get 10 x square, 5 and 10 I simplify, I get minus 8 x, and 10 and 10 I simplify, plus 1 equals 0. Done. This is my new equation. Okay, this is what uh, this is the whole purpose of this kind of question. So the question actually is not too bad. So basically, it tell you alpha and beta are the root of the quadratic equation. But the purpose of doing this one, th I mean, the purpose of the the question tell you alpha and beta uh, are the root of quadratic equation because they want you to find the first alpha plus beta and first alpha multiplied beta, and then the question will always tell you the new root. No matter what kind of new root the question tell you, same thing, your first idea is always do the new sum of root and new product of root. That means you using the new root given. This is the new root given, right? So you just plus them together and multiply them together. After you multiply them and plus them already, so what you need to do next is try to use the information you just got just now and substitute it in, uh, substitute it into it. Alright, okay, actually this question I already done. So I just change a little bit of the question because I want you to fully understand about this one. So I, if let's say I tell you the new root is uh, uh, the alpha square and beta square because I say the new root can be anything. Alright, so what you need to do is same thing. You, you form the new sum of root. So I will like alpha square plus beta square. Alright, and then same thing, you will form your new product of root. So it's just alpha square multiply with beta square. Of course you will need to solve uh you will need to solve this one. This one is very easy. This one is just alpha beta square. And then you got the alpha beta just now, means you just substitute your value into it. It's not mistaken your alpha beta will actually is five over two. Yeah. So this one, it just become 5 over 2 square. Alright, so you will get 25 over 4. Okay, but then for this, this kind of thing, alpha square plus beta square, actually you don't have the alpha square plus beta square. But from here, you can actually do something about it. Because I know alpha plus beta equals to 4, isn't it? So if alpha square plus beta square is basically, is just, in order to get that one, I will use uh, this information over here. 
Okay, let me write it out because I want you to understand if you have the questions uh, look something like this. Okay, so if alpha plus beta equals to 4, then I square both sides. Then I will get alpha square plus 2 alpha beta plus beta square equals to 16. So I know alpha square plus beta square will equal to 16 minus 2 alpha beta. And I have my alpha beta, I done it. My alpha beta is 5 over 2. 16 minus 2, 5 over 2. Then I simplify 16 minus 5, I get 11. So this is the value of alpha square plus beta square. Because sometimes, after you do the new sum of root already, you cannot straight away get the uh get the answer from the uh your original sum uh your original sum of root. So what you need to do is maybe you will need to simplify it. Then you get eleven, then the whole thing is eleven. So after you get the thing ready, so what you can